for the top three challenges is first of all stigma we've been always stigmatized as a refugee so as an employer or hiring manager do not think about us as a refugee think about the skills that we can brought for your company think about the education that we had and also we could benefit your company challenge your preconceptions of course most of the refugees are looking for work opportunities and to learn and grow and we can grow together we can learn from each other the expectations is the workplace are realistic so just try to not think us or think about us as a refugee the second one which is like i really want to, uh, also to speak about and mainly it is really important is adapting to a new culture the majority of the refugees having some difficulties in integrating to the new society for example for me it was really hard to adopt the new culture and i remember when i arrived to the netherlands all the dutch people were really direct in their talk with us and we were like in big shock it's like how we can deal with this and it took us some time of course but at the end we adapted to the new culture we get used to it so try to explain as an employer or hiring manager try to explain about the new culture the new work culture what you're going to face what the things that you are expecting what is the outcome that both of us can bring and try to explain like any expert, experts like who's going to work with you also and most importantly what can you learn from our culture except food i mean food was amazing <laughs> The third one is no professional network. The majority of the refugees also, they don't have any professional network. They might have the skills and education, but the problem is that they don't have the right contact person to reach and to ask for a job. That's put us in a big limbo. So if you want to find a refugee candidates, you have to reach out to them. Now we are trying to, for example, set up our LinkedIn and build our resume, but we cannot find the right contact person to speak with and to find job. So if you find someone, try to speak with him or with her. And if you couldn't hire us or hire him or her, then try to put us in contact with a pot potential employer or a hiring manager and says, listen, this is a good candidate. This is good, but uh, benefit your company. And I recommend this candidate for your company. The other challenges is the fourth one, unrecognized certifications. Of course, we came as a lawyer. I came to the Netherlands and it was really hard to find an equivalent Dutch degree for my certificate as a medical also employ, uh, employers or you know employment it was really hard to find an equivalent for our certifications but and instead of looking to the certificate i think you have to look at our skills what we can give to your company is most important we have the skills we have the educational background but unfortunately we couldn't find the equivalent for our certificate so you can hire those people or those candidates based on their skills regardless certificate which is sometimes it's important the fifth one is gap in employment ah. <laughs> this one is also really important sometimes it's like as an employer or hiring manager you find that we've missed some years not working 
of course, we came from a country scattered by war or persecution or natural disaster, as I explained before. And then it's like we try to apply for an asylum and then you have to wait, for example, two years like what I did or when I wait, waited for my asylum for two years. I couldn't work. I couldn't do anything. I couldn't, unfortunately, be effective in the new host community. So from your end, you have to understand the gap by being considerate of the reasons behind this gap in employment and to try to look at the potential candidate and to try to, for example, help him or her to get on board and not looking at their gap because they are skilled, they are like educated, but unfortunately during this uh, unnecessary circumstances that we've passed through, we had this gap. The sixth one is compliance restrictions. I think it's related to the fifth one also, gap in employment. Because refugees, sometimes they have to wait for one year or let's say a couple of months, one year, two years, maybe three years sometimes to get their asylum paper because we, did, we couldn't or we didn't come by working visa that it allow us to work immediately. We came through a really dangerous road and we have to wait. So it's like uh, the Ministry of Immigration or whatever or any other institute can check our story and our file and then agree for a decision, good decision to have an asylum or not. And that takes time, that takes many time. So there is a big bending sometimes asylum cases that would grant them the right to work because until we get the asylum decision, then we have to get also the work permit 